Hi everyone, my name is Tayo Bamidro. I'm co-founder and CEO of Metro Africa Express, uh, otherwise known as Max.ng. Max is a transport company on a ride hailing platform that is making motorcycle transportation safe, affordable, and accessible to Africans uh, all the way from West Africa to East Africa eventually and Southern Africa. What we do is we use technology, uh, asset finance, and defensive driving training to make motorcycle transportation safe uh, for everyone. Our goal ultimately is to create more jobs and opportunities for thousands of people across the continent and also make transportation, especially two-wheel transportation, very safe for everyone. Hi, my name is Chinedu, Chinedu Azudo. I'm co-founder and chief growth officer at Max, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. The question is how essentially are riders keeping to, are following the rules, how we ensure that drivers are actually following the rules and following the, the laws set down by the Lagos state government and other state governments of course. Um, so let's think about it this way, right? Motorcycles, the issues with motorcycles, bans and all that stuff, a reason or a key reason why that is the case today, especially in Lagos and other cities, is security, right? You, you don't know who those drivers are, right? Yeah, there's some licensing, but it's not, it's not where it needs to be. So. You, you don't know who these drivers are, you don't know where they're coming from, you don't know what they're doing, and it's very difficult to regulate what they do. So if they're involved in crime, you're not able to track that. If they're involved in goodwill, you're not able to track that. Essentially, everybody's bad. Why? Because you don't have a way to track that. What we're doing is we've built technology that allows us to, one, track those drivers in real time, two, track their identity. So who are they, where are they from, who are their support system, who are their contacts for emergency, who are their guarantors, all those things. Where do they leave? Where do they spend 70% of their time between midnight and 6 a.m.? Those kinds of questions. We're able to answer those questions because we gather, we spend a lot of time building systems that gather and capture this data and can analyze it and make informed decisions, right? Also, the recovery process is built out in such detail that it allows us to, one, know who these drivers are on a very personal level, and then two, be able to ensure that they work successfully in the system. How do we make sure that they follow the rules of Lagos, right? Every motorcycle today on our platform is, it has a speed limiter built into it, right? So the bikes can move beyond 85 kilometers per hour. And 85 is what we set as a top limit because that way we need them to be able to, still be able to climb, um, go uphill if need be. But in reality, we're really shooting for like 60, 65 kilometers per hour um, in terms of maximum speed for these drivers. Um, we have cohorts of people who we call task force. I'm sure you're familiar with some kind of thing like that. Um, and for us, they, they are an enforcement team that essentially we we'll walk around the walk um, during the working hours, going around and making sure that drivers are doing what they're supposed to, what they're supposed to do. Right? There's still some manual work around there, but the key thing is we need to do what needs to be done to ensure that these drivers are successful over the long term. Right? Um, there's also a lot of work around like psychometric testing. So we use adaptive testing systems to profile our drivers, figure out who has the right mental psychological profile, and ensure that they're able to work successfully on our platform. So that means involves psychometric testing, road testing, um, writing testing, all sorts of stuff, because we need to know that this guy will succeed on our platform, right? There's obviously a lot of work that's done around like um, customer support for the drivers, like customer support training, and obviously we've spent a lot of time investing in things like technology and better products to make sure that the drivers are not just are not just getting trips, but they're also happy working on the platform, whatever that means um, to each particular driver. We've also spent a lot of time building out a team that focuses on just these drivers to make sure that they're happy. So we track driver happiness at max. Right? And that helps us be more successful long term. If you look at the last 10 to 20 years, in terms of economic growth, unemployment, the indices have continued to get worse. So for me, it's purely, and for, and for Max, for all of us at Max, it's a question of what can we do using technology and using our insights and experience with transport and e-commerce, what can we do to solve this problem? How can we make transportation easier? How can we allow businesses to thrive? How can we also unlock more job opportunities for people? And that's really the thinking behind Max. It's, we are a social enterprise. Our mission really is to solve social problems, create more job opportunities for people. Uh, and the fact also is that a lot of us, uh, we have that, that mindset that we've been privileged. The opportunities that we've had, not every African or every Nigerian has had access to those same opportunities. So we can only give back, you know, because we've benefited from uh, a lot of good fortune and now it's our own turn to use all those resources to look at our colleagues, our friends, at our younger ones who are coming behind us and say, how can we make life easier for you guys? How can we create opportunities for you? How can we help you reach your dreams by providing just a little bit of support system in there? We provide an opportunity to make some money, learn you know, some skills, and then within a couple of years, you, know, you can move up 
the ladder to go do other things you want to do in life. But we have to give back, and that's the driving force. So once again, my name is Taya Bamdiro, co-founder and CEO of Max.ng, Oya Connect. <laughs>